We just played your fight, dude, uh, before you yeah. came on. Uh, man, it was a monstrous fight in the jungle, bro, in uh, Springfield. Um, dude, you, you've been making waves. You have one fight, and, uh, you know, being a Casey, I guess that, that carries a lot of weight, man. Talk about, you know, this little journey of yours in uh, the last fight and uh, what's coming up next. Uh, yeah, I mean, shit, Steve, you know yourself. It's been a long time coming, man. Um, just because the records want to know, man. I've been I've been training now, shit, Steve, about five years now. I remember going back when I was 21 years old when he used to come see me at Link. Um, so, Pat, I believe Pat said it, like, spot on the last interview with you. Like, for a guy that's 1-0, there's not many guys that got experience like me. Um, I've been training with high-level pros, man, for the last five years of my life. Um, just took me a little bit. I had, to, I had to grow up. I had to mature. There's a... A lot of things that came at me in those five years, man. So, you know, it kind of got put on hold. A couple fights fell through, and then um, finally got everything in, in check where I could, you know, fully commit to it. And uh, here I am now, man. Yeah, it was a quick finish. Um, I, I, I fill seats, man, and, and I get the job done. So, you know, um, hopefully, you know, this next fight, July 23rd, uh, goes go smooth like that as well. Well, my man, uh, dude, not only the fight was crazy, you had a, a little melee happening before that fight, uh, dude. Uh, uh, and I posted that all over social media, and people <laughs> people lit up, man. You had a little riot before you actually hit the cage, man. Was that on your walkout that uh, people were throwing chairs and uh, having a ball out there? Yeah, that that shit's crazy, man. I mean, I, I don't, I don't, I don't think any of it was uh, too good, but um, I mean, shit happens. Um, I will say this: I'm not defending my side, but my my side really didn't have much to do with it. Um, Another fighter before me prior, um, his match, whatever happened, and um, his spectators, they were a little upset, I believe, of the outcome. And then middle of my walkout, one of my uh, one of my fans and spectators are filming my walkout, and um, they kind of said some, you know, inappropriate things during the, the Facebook Live thing when they were filming my walkout, and then the phone got hit. And then that kind of set it off when they put their hands on um, one of my fans. And um, wild. shit started happening. It was both sides throwing chairs and stuff. Um, I'm surprised, honestly, no one got arrested. I mean, that that was absolutely crazy. It was soft. It was freezing in there, right? <laughs> so I, I'm sitting there, chest naked. I got nothing on, no shoes, and and I got to sit 10 minutes. I'm getting Vaseline up as this is happening. And um, they prolonged the fight. It was, it was postponed for like 10 minutes. Like they, they had to get everything in check. It was, it was madness. And surprisingly, honestly, nobody got arrested, which is like the most absurd well, shit. Well, 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 you know... Brett, you know, it is the ammo. They probably hired one cop from fucking Zier, uh, from fucking no, know, uh, yeah, Kmart or something like that, you know. Yeah, 